Good afternoon. Today is a truly historic day for the nation and for the world. Today we have witnessed democracy and our constitution at work. Over the past four and a half days, we as a country have watched on the edges of our seats as a record number of ballots have been counted, some of which are still being counted as we speak. However, this is not enough to change the outcome of the election. Now that the stress and waiting is over, we can see that turnout in this election is historic. More citizens have voted in this election and for this president than ever before, which meant that taking the time to make sure we had the correct number of votes was important. My area of Pennsylvania was as stressful as it seemed as the country watched and you could even feel it in the air. However, we can officially say that we have a new president-elect, Joe Biden, and a new vice president-elect, Kamala Harris. I would like to send my sincere congratulations to both Joe and Kamala and the Biden and Harris families. Today, we celebrate. Today, we breathe. But I ask that everyone accept this outcome. We are a nation that is founded on the basic principles of liberty, justice, and equality. These principles will be upheld by this new administration. They define the Biden and Harris campaign. So instead of rioting, looting, and protesting, let's breathe and turn to your neighbor and thank them for participating in this election. It doesn't matter who you voted for, but rather that you did vote in this historic election. This is a time to reflect on what we need to do as a country, to move forward and to rebuild our country after suffering many different crises, including an out of control pandemic and a recession. Yes, we can celebrate, but we also have to start planning so that on January 20th, our nation can begin to heal together, united as one country. We may seem divided right now, and while this may be true, we are all still one nation. We must come together and work harder together to move our nation forward. The election is over, and the time for change is now, and this change will come. In the coming weeks and months, the Biden and Harris team will present their outline for the next four years. This will be an uphill battle that they have ahead of them, but it is not an impossible battle. The next four years will be a term of rebuilding and transformation as we transition into this new normal that we are all learning to live with. Getting ahead of the pandemic and truly flattening the curve is something that will take center stage. And I urge everyone to follow the lead of President-elect Biden and Vice President-elect Harris as they help us to navigate this unknown path. I am positive that they are the right people to get the job done. Our country is at a tipping point. We have dealt with a global pandemic, racial injustice, a recession, and so many other issues. But I ask that we all remember one thing. We have stayed united. Though riots and protests have happened, we have put our freedom on full display and have elected a new administration that will create a new path of hope and certainty in these uncertain times. I express the best of my congratulations and joy from my family, friends, and myself to President-elect Biden, Vice President-elect Harris, their families, and their entire campaign team on this historic victory. I cannot wait to get started on building back a better country, being fired up and ready to go. See you on January 20th. Thank you.